Hey guys, I'm Common Ramen here. Today for TCG Tuesday, I'm finally, finally, finally going to take a look at MetaZoo Nightfall, which was their uh, most recent expansion for MetaZoo. Um, this didn't drop recently. This actually dropped, uh, I want to say, close to a month ago, uh, but I just haven't taken the time to get around to it. We're not looking at a booster box today. We're just going to be looking at the um, spellbook. Uh, so there's going to be, I think, 10 packs in here. Uh, very similar to that of a, um, what do they call them, Fat Pack, or uh, Magic has a name for them, Bundle or something that to that effect. So we got 10 booster packs, one holographic promo, a metallic coin, rule book, uh, meta, zoo, meta Zoo sleeves, uh, a token sheet, and the Aura deck. So it's going to be pretty similar um, to the normal spell book. Uh, we'll take a look. Um, obviously at the booster pack, since that's the most important part. Uh, eventually, when the booster boxes start coming back in, we'll probably do uh, an unboxing for that, but I don't know when that's going to be, or if it's even going to be relevant by that point in time, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's jump in. This one is cool because the, um, the face of this book is, is very much like the Necronomicon, so I just thought that was pretty clever. Come on. There we go. All right. MetaZoo. Working on their second expansion. Looking pretty strong. Let's see what happens with that. Shrink wrap off. I already cut the seal. All right. So what do we got here? We got a playmat. Oh, very cool. I think we have to open that up and take a look at that. All right, we got our play mat with the cryptids and Sam. Um, I assume with very little knowledge about the story that Sam is our protagonist. So we got ourselves the promo card, which is Nightfall. The symbol is, is a lot more pronounced this time, which is pretty interesting. Plus, it doesn't... Actually, I don't remember if there was anything in that box now that I think about it. So we got our first edition symbol right there. I assume that's the set symbol right there. Um, yeah, very cool. Next up, we have our Aura Pack, and these Auras look different than the Auras from the... Um, first set, so I want to take a look at these guys. So we got our Cosmic Aura, the dude floating in space, our Dark Aura, an Earth Aura, which looks really neat, the Flame Aura, it's just really beautiful art, Forest Aura, Frost Aura, Light Aura. Ooh, the Lightning Aura is very nice. Spirit Aura. The Water Aura with the uh, little hidden skull in there. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, it's not as if Magic doesn't do something similar every time they have a new set, they have different lands. So I guess um, I shouldn't be surprised that they would change the art. Um, but it's just these little nuances that can help a game thrive. And uh, they really have done a really good job with that. Um, even with the um, Brilliant Aura packs, um, they still have uh, different arts floating around in it. With the possibility of foil, which I thought was really cool. Alright, cool. So those are the Auras. Um... Yeah, I saw some brilliant aura packs at Channel Fireball uh, up where I live, but uh, I mean, they are super gouging the price on those. I think they were like $270 or something like that, and that's just absolutely out of, out of this. You know, that's not what we should be doing. So here's the rule book for Nightfall. I'm hoping that they did some better job on clearing up rules and dealing with the... Uh, um, ambiguous parts. Our sleeves, which look 
slightly higher quality. I actually have to take a look at this because these actually feel... Okay, they're slightly thicker. And they're top load this time. Alright, we're starting to move in the right direction, guys. Not bad. Let's see how they fit the card. Oh, very nice. It actually fits really well. I'm actually impressed with these sleeves. Uh, by comparison to the first spellbook, which was like putting trash bags around your cards, these sleeves are actually decent. <laughs> so, good job. MetaZoo finally did something right. <laughs> Actually, they've been doing a lot, right? That's not fair. Okay, we got our metal coin. It's black this time with the uh, set symbol. And then on the other side, as per usual, the uh, MetaZoo symbol. It's a smaller coin, just like the typical MetaZoo coins are. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we have the counters, which, again, I'm so excited that they did this. Um, it'll make keeping track of status effects so much easier. So we have all the counters here. Just pop those guys out. That way we can keep track of, you know, poison and paralysis and, uh, sleep and, uh, burrow and frozen and burnt. Yeah. <laughs> so good on you there. Now we have our 10 packs, the thing you've been waiting for. Now, I want to say that this was inspired by Halloween because we have things like the jack-o'-lantern, but uh, that's probably not entirely true. I'm sure it was just a fun chance to throw in there. Let's see how much easier these guys are to open because these packs don't feel anything like the uh, first set. Oh, and look at that. They just come right open. Okay. All right. They're, uh, they're stepping up their game a little bit. All right, so we have ourselves air rods. It's a cosmic, yeah. Crazy critter of bald mountain. The uh, borders look a lot better now, um, at least for these uh, cosmic ones. Tribal war cry. Smoky Spirits. Bloody Bones. That is horrendously terrifying. Spooky Kite. Spooky Kite is uncommon, so is Bloody Bones. Unholy Fire. Uh, Wonk, who is common, looks like an armadillo. River of Time is rare. Take another turn after this one. Put this page into the afterlife. Whoop! All right, that's uh, that's a crazy good card. Oh, I see. Wonk was foil. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't notice that because the camera. Doesn't really play on that, but Wonk was foil. River of Time was rare. Then we have a dynamite token, which I don't know what that is, but that's pretty neat that they actually have tokens. We got ourselves a full moon, so uh, a new terrain, and a water aura. So we're doing terrains and auras, are we? Oh, they're starting to actually make sense with their pack composition, too. And the token thing, borrowing that from uh, magic? Huh. It's funny, you uh, borrow some things from a successful trading card game and uh, it ends up being successful. Just a weird thought. Alright, pack number two. We got some more air rods. Followed by Wallow Lake Crustacean. Look at the little jack-o'-lantern. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, excavation. Smoky Spirits. Jack o' Lantern Bomb. It's uh, uncommon right there. Copy Cup. 
All right, next up we have Dampen. No fireballs for you. Then we have our foil, which is a common beast of Bladenboro. Beast of Bladenboro. Followed by our rare, a born from the earth. Our token, stained glass. Our terrain, which is a mountain. And our aura, which is earth aura. Very nice. I like the way that they're doing the composition for these packs. This is so much better. I know that the first set is kind of like, okay, we're feeling out our territory, but... You know, you have a lot of different games that you can reference, both dead and alive, and... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. Dark Lightning Orb. Changes up the borders a little bit. I'm actually kind of a fan of that, because it kind of... Uh, feels more thematic. Cosmic Warp. Jack-o'-lantern. Imprisonment. Brain in a Jar. The Purple Blob of Philadelphia. Next up should be our foil. Or is it uncommon? No, it's not foil. Veggie Man. Okay, next up maybe foil. Yes. Yes. Okay, this one's our foil. So you get three uncommons, then you get your foil slot. And our foil slot is uncommon. I'm assuming that there's a chance that the foil slot can be uh, rare. Although, much like uh, other card games, I, I imagine that's pretty hard to find. But we got the Headless Nun in our foil slot. Who, despite being a Headless Nun, is still part of the light group. And then our rare... Wait. Is that uncommon? It is uncommon. Okay. Our rare is Twin Meteor. Very nice. Another stained glass token. The Raining Terrain. Which, by the way, this art is incredible. Love it. And then a Flame Aura. Alright. These packs are so much easier to open. Before I had to have a pair of scissors, I would have to prepare with a pair of scissors because there's just no way I was going to get the cards out. Um, these ones just open so much easier. All right. Axe Handle Hound. He's Forest. We're going to Nightmare. All right. It's an old uh, cryptid. A Trinity Amulet. Sam's Holy Water. Bubbling Brew. It's an uncommon. Uh, Caster Center MD. Not digging that nurse with a giant freaking syringe. Holy crap. Nightshade. In our foil slot, we have a rare foil, so that's what I was saying. It's possible that it could be foil, so, or uh, rare, so that's great. And it's the Headless Horseman, probably one of my favorite old tales. Um, so, you know, it's not foil, it's reverse foil. So, that's pretty friggin' sick. I don't know if this is a good card, but honestly, I love the Headless Horseman. And then in our rare slot, we have Born from the Earth. Our token is another stained glass token. We got our swamp terrain and a water aura. So that's cool. We got the headless horseman. I think that's pretty neat. What is up next? All right, we got Arkansas snipe. When I was in the Boy Scouts, we went snipe hunting. And, and actually, when I, I think it was the Cub Scouts, my bad. Cub Scouts, we went snipe hunting. When I was in the Boy Scouts, we we were the snipes, the, the snipe hunting. So it's interesting how that goes full circle. But people still, 
think they've seen a snipe. Um, all right, we got the Cabbage Town Tunnel Monster. The Tuttle Bottoms Monster, which looks like a really twisted version of Lickitung. Smoky Spirits. The Boogeyman. Ah, uh, yes, the Boogeyman. Crystallized Light. Dispel Evil. And then in our foil slot. Uh, is that a rare? Dang, I got another foil rare. Very cool. We got a uh, Grafton Monster. Full rare. He's kind of got a big body. Plus, he's got uh, stone skin and what is that defender? So he looks like he might be very difficult to kill. Arena. This page must be the target of all legal attacks. Okay. All right. This page costs zero aura to contract if it's Mother's Day. All right. This page cannot be affected by non-beastie pages while on or off the arena. Oh, wow. He's just a big block of doom. Oh, I didn't even notice that they started putting the... Um... Did they do that? They did. Very nice. Okay. They started putting the resistances and weaknesses down here. Like Pokemon. Good job, guys. Good job. Way to take from successful games. Good job. All right. Next up, we have a rare, which is going to be Momo. Right, so Momo is strong against uh, water. We got flavor text. It just looks cleaner. The, 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 the card looks cleaner. All right, next up we have our Nameless token. Nameless Beastie. Oh, okay. There's my, uh, what are they called? Those little wrench dudes. <laughs> we got an island for our terrain and we got a lightning aura. I can't remember. Oh, Dingbell. My Dingbell token's right there. I suppose you could buy, like, custom-made Dingbell tokens, but is Dingbell even a viable thing anymore? Who knows? Uh, Absorb Aura. Wallow Lake Crustacean. Excavation. Frostbite. Terrifying. This damage ignores stone skin. Yikes. In the uncommon slot, we got ourselves a jack-o'-lantern bomb. Followed by a headless nun. And a dover demon. Looks like an alien, but... If you say so. In our foil slot, we have a common belled buzzard. Belled buzzard. And in our rare slot, we have the Wood Devil of Coos County. Yeah, that would be definitely scary to run against. Then we have another Nameless token, followed by a River Terrain and a Cosmic Aura. I'm still digging this Lost in Space look. This is definitely much better than before. They did a really good job on fine-tuning. So we got our air rods. Another Walla Lake Crustacean. Tribe Trade. Or Tribe Tirade. Tribe Tirade. Choose a beastie tribe or a beastie name with three or more beasties in the arena. All beasties belonging to that tribe or name lose all traits and effect text except for their attacks until the next turn, end of the next turn. Oh my gosh. There you go. The way to shut down Dingbell. Uh, imprisonment. Followed by some uncommons. We got ourselves Graveyard's Mud. Okay. Exquisite Stew, which looks very opposite of that. Uh, Robert the Doll. Okay, and then finally in our foil slot, we've got 
Mothman is rare as per the use. Now, is this Mothman more expensive than the Kickstarter Reverse Hollow one that I pulled in the previous videos? Who knows? Mothman. All right, and then our rare, we have a Wood Devil of Coos County. Another stained glass window token that's got damage. Nice. A full moon and an earth aura. So foil, Mothman, reverse foil. Another reverse foil, Mothman, but this time different. I think they printed uh, three different versions. There was a promo version of Mothman as well. Ah, me, cook. Ah, me, cook. Wallow Lake Crustacean. Tribe Tirade. Imprisonment. Uncommon, we got Feign Death. Copy Cup. Dover Demon. In our foil, we've got Wallow Lake Crustacean. <laughs> I've got five now. That's That's good. Nice reverse hollow. In our rare, we have a potion seller. He actually looks kind of neat. Although, yeah, right, if you're going to bring that inside a building. Good luck getting through any doorways. Oh, we got a shadow token, which I think is really neat. Route 66. We've got some lightning storms going on here. And then finally, we got a flame aura. Got two more packs, folks. Looks like Jersey Devil made it into this set, too. If you remember the original Jersey Devil, you had to produce a blood-curdling scream, which I thought was very unique, if not completely unusable. Dark Lightning Orb. The Bandage Man of Cannon Beach. Uh, are you serious? For real? He's got that replicate ability, so he replicated in my pack, apparently. <laughs> okay. Um, Ilya Iliamna Lake Monster. Iliamna Lake Monster. Which just looks like a really deformed shark, and I'm really sad for that guy. Uh, he's cheap. <laughs> uh, in our uncommon slot, we have Boost Aura. Good old Sam Sinclair. Uh, Crystallized Light. And uh, Robert the Doll. And then in our foil slot, it is a rare. It is a Jack Frost. Okay. He is nipping at your nose. Very cool. And then in our rare slot, we have a Jack Frost. Really? I had two duplicates in this pack? Come on. You could do better than that. I'm not going to complain. I mean, that just means what? Oh, there's only one per spellbook anyway. Ugh, whatever. We got a stained glass token. We got ourselves stars. And then finally, we got a water aura. Now, this is our last pack. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Nightfall. Definitely, uh, they've upped their game. I'm really happy about the quality this time through. So that's pretty cool. We got ourselves an absorb aura. We got water to wine. Excavation. A foo fullet. A foo foo fullet. You can uh, correct me on my pronunciation at any point in time because I'm pretty sure I butchered the crap out of that name. Uh, next up, we have Index in the Uncommon slot, followed by Sinister Shadows. And last but not least, Dispel Evil in our. Foil slot, we have a common, which is the Napa Rebobs. A flying monkey. I wonder if they got that from uh, Wizard of Oz. And then our rare slot, we have Lightning Alley. You may fatigue this page at any time to generate one lightning aura and one light aura. You may not control more than two artifact essence in the arena. Artifact Essence.
very nice. It costs zero, has 50 HP. That's a pretty cool page, not gonna lie. If they have one for each uh, grouping, that's pretty powerful. We have a tentacle token. I'm so happy about that, a tentacle token. Yes. Then we have a Dawn Terrain, which I love, followed by a Dark Aura, very ominous. The artwork is incredible on this too. I have to say that they definitely stepped up the game. Um, when the uh, first edition non-Kickstarter version of the spellbook came out, they added in the tokens here, um, as well as you got um, an aura pack too, which was just basically the brilliant aura pack. Um, but they hadn't really changed the quality of the cards, obviously because it was the first set uh, and we still got those really terrible MetaZoo sleeves from the beginning. So not only did we upgrade our quality on the MetaZoo sleeves, we're not losing anything in the in the tokens. So we're still being given the tokens, the the coin, and a new new aura pack. It's different from the other one. There's no foil in here, which is fine. Um, so it's not going to be like your brilliant aura pack. You're not going to find your alternate art in there. Um, but on top of that, the just a lot about this was different. The packs themselves were made of a different uh, material than the previous ones, which I'm pretty sure were a, some sort of foil. Um, these ones are definitely plastic um, or some mixture of. Uh, the cards themselves, they've given really good updates on. So we have our you know strong strengths against uh, things as well as uh, just the layout of the card just is cleaner. You can see the rarity symbols much better. Um, you know, all in all, just they did a phenomenal job of recreating, um, not recreating, but but really upping the stakes here with this product. So I can't say I'm disappointed. I'm actually extremely excited for this. Um, when Nightfall dropped, one of the biggest reasons I didn't pick up any of the product was because the when Brilliant Aura came out and the new Spellbook came out for the original set, nothing really changed, and I was kind of like, I don't know where the quality of this game is going. But they've, but now that I've opened up this Spellbook, I can definitely see that the quality has taken an incredible upturn. So, um, yeah, definitely look for more of this in the future, uh, especially if I can get a hold of a booster box of of Nightfall. But yeah, guys, that was uh, MetaZoo Nightfall, uh, the spell book. And um, yeah, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any comments uh, or you want to, you know, correct my pronunciation or educate me on some of these cryptids, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Uh, I will be removing negative comments, uh, so keep it classy, guys. Um, there's no room for negativity. Uh, and if you feel the need to support me, please hit me up on my Patreon page under Uncommon Ramen. Um, uh, any amount of, of support I can get will help me bring more of this content to you. I do this in my free time, so it's, it can be a little bit difficult. And, uh, until next time, guys, peace.